Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Korea, where we're working on the Chosen One achievement. We're a long way to go, and we haven't made any progress. Well, that's not true. We did conquer some of Japan, but we haven't made any progress against Ming. And while Japan is getting devoured, he feels weak enough that he has allied Ming. So I can't make any more progress in Japan until we deal with Ming. Kind of sucks. Ming is in the process of fabricating all over us and my vassals. Japan is also fabricating on us because he's a douche. Our cores are in. Good, good. We're turning some of these into states, by the way. So hopefully we can get Togoku to be an accepted culture. What do you think, Togoku? You want to be accepted? Oh, it's close. It's at 8.7. Lose stability or lose legitimacy. You know what? I don't have legitimacy, so fuck it. I don't care. This term you use, legitimus. What does it even mean? Can you explain it? All right, let's get some more soldiers. Actually, I want to. I want to repay loans. I'm trying to keep my army big enough to where my vassals don't want independence. But I also want to make like, you know, 10 or 12 ducats a month so we can repay some loans. Every two years I can repay one loan. That means we're 26 years away from repaying our loans. So bad. So bad. What choice do we have though? That I mean that's our economy. That's what we do. We're paying 11 ducats in interest a month. A month. That's so bad. Let me check around the world, see if anyone's friendly. Not so much. You know, if we had a border with Bukura, he may want alliance. Like, if we just get this one province, Bukura may want alliance. But right now, he says distance is the main problem. Negative 20. No, no, no. Distance is only negative 11. What else is there then? Neutral attitude. Not the same religious group. Reputation sucks. My army strength sucks. All right. So he's got his reasons. He's got his reasons. Let's repay alone. Crazy loans, man. So many crazy loans. But that did lower our interest by one ducat. And that's really what we need, is we need to lower our interest as much as possible. Like, I would love to build more trade fleet and just protect more of our trade. <laughs> but that's not going to happen. I need my ducats. That's why it hurts so much to increase the autonomy when we took the land from Japan. But I think it was the right move. Yeah, most of the autonomy in Manchuria is fine. It's just Japan where the autonomy sucks. How are we doing on states? We're at 10 states out of 15. Okay. Well, this will be an 11th state. This will be a 12th state. I just can't afford to core any of it. Feudal monarchy. Oh, Japan finished his conquest. Right. So he's annexed all of his vassals. He is now a monarchy. Good for you, instead of the shogunate. He's an empire. With, like, 100 developments. Oh, my vassals. Tech 8, Tech 9, Tech 8. Yep, Ming just hit Tech 11. Gross. How close are we? We're not that far behind. We'll get there in two years. Okay. Well, what else can we do to make Tech a little faster? We could take specific idea groups, like Aristocratic, 
10% cheaper tech, diplomatic for cheaper tech, and administrator for deep tech, deep cheaper tech. Problem with those is I really don't need any of them. Well, I might need administrator for the cheaper coring. I don't think I need diplomatic at all. And I definitely don't want aristocratic. Probably go with quality as my first military idea for that combat ability. Oh wow, the nobles are loyal again. Nice. Yeah, okay. When can I get monarch military points from you? Uh, next year. No, this year. July. Lose loyalty, but get military points. Well, loan repaid. I still don't get why my vassal is not sieging, not killing this guy. He's got a... Oh, God. His 3-6 general died. He's got a 5-1 general now. And these rebels only have a 1-2. He's just ignoring them. It's so awkward. I want to go help him, but it's just... No. Okay, let's get some more claims on Ming. Might as well. Spy on Japan while we're at it. I've improved relations with all of these guys as much as I fucking can. And if they want alliance, they know where I am. Did I set them all to friendly? Yep. Okay, they're all friendly. We'll see how that goes. Kind of weird. I have not seen a single event for people sampling new religions. It's an event you get for taking the humanist idea group. I have not seen a single one of those since the day we took this, which was 70 years ago. And yet now we just had two on the same day. It seems a little awkward. Ah, we discovered a Ming spy. Love it. Okay, Ming's manpower is coming back. He's at 38,000 troops. He'll beef that up. Have he, has he repaid his loans? That's the big thing. I don't think he'll declare a war if he's... No. He has not repaid his loans. And also his legitimacy has fallen a bit. What happened? Ah, he's got the average claim dude. And he has no heir? Yes, die. Come on, die. Lose the Mandate of Heaven, you little bastard. Oh, he did. He lost the Mandate of Heaven. Oh, baby. Oh, it's happening. It's fucking happening. And our truce is up, too. It's happening. Dot JPG. Or actually, it's a GIF, isn't it? Mandate of Heaven lost. I can't wait. Manchurian rebels. Oirat separatists. Oh, I should have next Oirat. Yeah. The problem with Oirat separatists is they will increase his liberty desire by about 20 for each province that flips to him. So I don't want him to get liberty desire like that. He's already he's already at 37. Yeah, let's annex that vassal. Sorry, Oirat, you've been a good buddy, but it's time to go. Kind of a weird way it works now. Like if you, if you, for instance, start, say you start as Oman or something, and you take, um, I don't know, a province from Timurids because Timurids have rebels everywhere, and, and you release Persia as a vassal, Persia, Persian rebels will eventually spawn and flip all of the Persia region to Persia, your vassal. But when they do, each province that flips over increases Persia's liberty desire by like twenty. So, you know, three provinces, and all of a sudden they want independence, then they get supported by the Ottomans, and then you're fucked. So let's just get rid of this vassal. It's too bad, because he's got the best tech out of all my vassals. Tech 8, tech 8, tech 9, yeah. Oh, well. Oh, we can see the Ottomans. Oh, no, we can't. Free base tax. 
Oh shit, look at this guy, he's punching that farmer. Don't punch farmers. Piss off Ming, lose 100 points, or lose a claim. No, piss off Ming is fine. I don't think we can piss him off any further. I mean, he, he really hates us. Negative 200 wants your provinces. Yeah, there's no way I can make him happy. All right, tech 10, baby. Tech 10. What do we got, new cannons? Yeah. Let's get that culverin, baby, for that shock defense. All right, I'm gonna repay another loan and then I'm gonna start building some cavalry. I've got two cannons. I want I want three more cav, I want two more cannons. Repay a loan first. 10 loans, we're down to 10 loans. Seven revolt risk, I like it. I like it a lot. This is just an average claim. An average claim is enough to cause him to fall into rebels. Nice. It's too bad he allied Japan, because I really don't want to fight Japan at the same time. But it looks like attacking Ming is going to be a huge boon for us. Let's get claims on Shenyang. Oh, we already have a claim on Shenyang. Let's claim Beijing. Duh. Let's claim... Ningyuan. And Dong. Just want the border. What's this? The nobles are upset. Calm down, nobles. Oh, baby. I should be super excited about all this shit, but I'm still very weak. Now, ideally, what happens is his current empress dies, and they just get some random dynasty, and they do the same thing we did. They get, like, zero legitimacy. If that happens, they're probably just going to fucking collapse. At the moment, he's not weak enough to collapse. 40,000 troops. Yeah, he's not going to collapse. He will be able to handle some of these rebels. Like, I think he just killed the Jin separatists. Get a claim over here, Shanhua. Yeah, those claims look nice. And let's turn this into a state down here. Neo. Okay, hold on. Accepted culture. Good. So we now accept all of Japan, all of Japanese culture. No, no, it's not where you don't accept this one. Don't accept Kyushu. Might just convert that. It's such a small culture group. Okay, what is this? Neo or Hio Yiop, the father of the poet Hio Nansio Hyun, is a conservative official with Confucian beliefs such as Namjon Yubi, men above, women below. Ignoring her budding talent and curiosity, he left it to her brother Hio Pong to introduce her to literature. Okay, what do we do with this? Gain an artist, cost half price, or gain prestige. Wow, that's not much prestige, is it? It's 20 years of prestige, but you only get 0.25 a year. It's a total of, what, five prestige? <laughs> that's garbage. I don't think I need an artist, though. What does an artist even do? Artist is prestige, right? That's philosopher. I don't know what the artist does. I don't know why it doesn't tell you. It's like, gain an artist. Why doesn't it tell you what the fuck it does? I'll take five prestige, I guess. Yeah, this is the point where we should declare on Ming. The problem is, how do we fight Ming and Japan at the same damn time? Because if we declare on Ming, we get to keep his unrest up at like a billion. And he's going to be really busy fighting rebels. But we're going to have to fight Japan at the same time. I don't like that.
but I think it's what we have to do. The problem is, can we defeat Japan and Ming's navies at the same time? We would have to. Ming has 10 trade ships. And has two trade ships and a heavy. Well, we can defeat Japan's navy, no problem, but Japan plus Ming would be a lot to handle. Hmm. Are you Tech 9? No, so he doesn't have new trade ships yet, so his trade ships are garbage. Whew. This is a toughie. Do I go for Ming now, while he's got the Mandate of Heaven Fallen? Or... I mean, I've already cored all this stuff over here in Japan, so that's not a problem. Because you can't, you can't core stuff if you're at war with someone who has a core on that province. So it would just pause this. It would pause the coring until you're done with the war. But we've already finished those cores. So that's not a problem. God, inflation. Ew, inflation. we get all of our troops together, what do we have? 6, 12... Well, that guy's gonna be gone. I can go broke their alliance with Mawa. You want an alliance? Nope. Nope. Still don't know who I am. Our heir is ill, and it's a shitty heir, so just let him die. Good. Doesn't matter. Does not matter at all. Separatists, I like it. He's at thirty five troops with ten mercs. Has he taken any more loans? Yeah, he took another loan. He's at six loans. Maybe I don't even need to go to war. Just let him collapse. We might have done enough work just getting rid of all his manpower. Mongol separatists. These want to flip land to my vassal Mongolia. Interesting. The Oirat rebels haven't spawned yet. They will. It looks like he's just going to collapse. He's at uh, 29,000 troops. Yeah, he's toast. Ming is dead, everyone. Fabricate on Gaijou and Heijian and Wuding. There goes the capital. He's at thirty troops. He's going to collapse. I think they're cultural rebels, so I think I'm safe there. But perhaps I should back up just in case. Just in case we're not safe there.
Well, I don't have any inspiring music for this. Just get to listen to the generic Asian music. Hey, there's Caradel Separatus. Nice. I think the way it works is if he collapses, which it looks like he will, all the all the current rebels will succeed. So anything that is on the map will succeed. Oh baby, four four five with a weak claim. Yes, please. Thank you. Four four five. Love it. I'll repay a loan, please. Nine loans. Still a lot of interest on that every month. Oh yeah, they're killing the Ming army. Yes, kill that Ming army. Yes. Yes. Glorious. You know what I'm thinking is, while this is going on, let's say this goes on for a few more years. While this is going on, we can declare on Japan and Ming won't join. There's just no way Ming would join. Truce is up in three years. I think that's a solid plan. I'm going to start fabricating on him again. There's no way Ming would join a war. Where's Ming's army? There's Ming's army. That's it. Ten troops, and they're all mercs. That's all he has is ten troops. Man, that white peace war. It took a lot out of us, and it looked like shit war at the time. But it actually worked out well in our favor. There's some appropriate music for Ming collapsing. What is this called? A Cruce Victoria. Cool. Chi Separatist. Wound Separatist. Min Separatist. Yue Separatist. Dali Separatist. Shan Separatist. Shu Separatist. Shun Separatist. Shi Separatist. Yeah, they're all going to succeed. I don't think he killed any of the rebels that spawned. These guys never did spawn. The Manchurians never spawned. Alright, start claiming Japan. Now what do we want here? Let's go for another state. Let's get let's grab this state. Three provinces. Echizen. I'll definitely grab Satsuma, finish up that state as well. I'm gonna siege the fort of Shenyang, sounds good to me. Yeah, these rebels are gonna succeed for sure. Oh shit, we discovered fabricating on Ming. Oh, there we go. He just collapsed. Holy hell. Ming has collapsed. Well, he's not dead. I'm tempted to cancel my annexation. He still has rebels up here, though. No, I'm just going to finish the annexation because those rebels will succeed. Yeah. Whew. Well, say hello to the new Ming. That's a very pretty Ming. 
All these guys are friendly. We're going to have to ally some of them. Who do we ally? Who's going to be the powerhouse here? Probably Wu and Yue. Maybe Shun. Check development here. Shun's got a lot. Shu has a lot. Even Chu has a lot. There's just so much development down here. The main difference between Ming... Okay, it's definitely going to be Wu. Wu needs to be my ally. The main difference between Ming and everyone else is Ming has a floor of 50% autonomy. And these guys don't. So these guys can get their autonomy down to zero, no problem. So here, they still have 50 autonomy. No matter where they go, they have 50 autonomy. So it makes it hard for Ming to really support like a giant army or... You know, just a whole lot of manpower, or naval power, whatever. They just don't have everything that you get if you get lower autonomy. I wonder if Ming would even join. Yeah, he would. Wow. I'm probably okay with that. I'll declare on Japan. So we can bring Ming into the war. Do I want to co-belligerent him? Maybe I'd declare on Ming and co-belligerent Japan. You know, that's probably a better option. Oh well. Meanwhile, keep fabricating. You know, I've got two claims over here. Perhaps we should go that go do that war. Interesting that Mongolia got some land down here. Not even Mongol culture. But he got it anyway, and it did not increase his revolt. It did not increase his liberty desire. Yeah, it doesn't even show his province. It, sh it shows as province defections, and it doesn't show it at all. Huh. Maybe it doesn't count if it's a nation collapse. Nation collapse maybe doesn't affect it. Interesting. I hadn't even considered that. Maybe I shouldn't annex the Oirats. But I could use a second Diplo slot for sure. Chi and Japan have rivaled Wu. Can I rival any of these guys? No. Maybe at the end of the month. Japan's fabricating on us. That's adorable. Yeah, I think I should just declare on these guys. Oh, shit. He allied my ally. Fuck. That's the main problem with all these guys exploding is... Well, now they're all going to be allies of each other. We can just go annex Qing, though. Or Qi. Yeah. Who's your ally? Yue? It's fine. Let's go full annex this guy. Nom nom nom. Oof. Bye, Ming. Nice knowing ya. I'm going to have to forge a few alliances there because I want them to not hate me when I take land. Xi and Yan. God, she is so small. Yan. Oh, this guy. Right. Shun, who have you allied? Yue, Chu, and Yan. Okay, I guess we're not going to annex Yan. At least not for a while. I think Shun is a good target. Maybe Shu is better. Ming and Dolly. Uh, it needs to be someone who Wu doesn't rival. Okay, that looks good. Let's do Shu. It's gonna put us over the Diplo limit by one. But, we're annexing a vassal anyway, so it shouldn't matter. And our truce is up next year. I can't wait. I 
Now this time we'll probably just go ahead and straight up fight Japan because there's no reason not to. It's only got 13 troops. We're a tech ahead of him. Yeah, it's fine. But that's gonna have to wait till next time. The exciting thing has happened. Ming has collapsed. And that should make it, if not easier to take this land. It, it's actually it's actually easier to take the land from Ming them, themselves. But it will make it easier to handle the armies that we fight. Because holy shit, fighting Ming's army, 60,000 troops, just crazy difficult, especially when he's two techs ahead. Now that we have all these small guys, they don't get the the uh, tech discount that Ming gets, so they shouldn't be. Oh god, they're all tech, they're all tech eleven. They get Ming's tech. Fuck you all. They all get Ming's tech. Well, that's gonna be a pain in the ass to fight. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.